I'm Renee Esquivel and you're tuned into my YouTube channel, Technologist on the Go. The TV screen I have in my lab is essential for me to perform a number of tests. Um, and it happens to be an LG TV, so it's part of their ThinQ um, product line that has very good uh, Internet of Things integration and it actually integrates nicely to Apple HomeKit. And so, uh, let me go ahead and show you how I'm using it. And uh, and if you have a, a ThinQ TV from LG, then very likely you can do the same as I'm doing here. So let's get it. Okay, in order to add my LG uh, ThinQ NanoCell TV to my uh, Apple Home Kit or Apple Home, it should be as easy as just uh, getting the remote and uh, pressing the home button. And then on the remote, going over to where it says Home Dashboard. Selecting that. And then, um, uh, let's see. Going over to the AirPlay. Which you see highlighted on the left side of the screen. And uh, going to set up HomeKit. And then, okay, get my iPad out. Let me bring up the uh, Home app, add an accessory. And now I should just be able to, oh, I picked up that TV immediately. Add to Apple Home. That's good. I am done. And as far as the app goes, I will now uh, pick that it's in my lab because that's literally where it is physically. There's my TV displayed by TV and model number. All those sources are accurate. And uh, and I'm done. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate here, uh, bringing up the Apple Home app. I got my LG TV there. Turn that, turn the power on. And you see the TV coming on. Connect my Mac Mini M1 to the TV. Now you see it identifies HDMI 4 for input there. And, um, but here on the Apple Home Kit, I easily change the input over. So now you see an extension of my Mac Mini desktop. There wasn't much to it, was there? Uh, please like and subscribe to get more such practical content. And uh, as always, for those who subscribe, I can subscribe. I'll watch your content. I'll leave likes so that we mutually build each other's channels up. Until the next video that you watch, 